Kidleys, Carly and Rose here, and welcome to a Nerdy Yogi YouTube channel. Today we are going to do a core and hip opening flow. So this flow is not going to focus really necessarily on like crunches or core strengthening. We're really going to think about moving from our deep core. So moving from the muscles along our spine and using that to open up our core and our hips. So we'll start coming into our ankle to knee pose or double pigeon. Uh, some people here are called log pose. So basically you've got ankles and knees are kind of stacked on top of each other, create a bit of triangle with your legs. Your bottom foot can be flexed if that's more comfortable or if it's better on your knee, you can have it kind of pointed and rotating towards the earth. And then top foot will be not in a super sharp flex, but a bit more flexed. Again, whatever is gonna be more comfortable for your knee here. You don't need to worry about pressing the top leg down. We're gonna let gravity do that for us. If it's more comfortable, again, you can have a blanket or something here, maybe a pillow. If you want to uh, create a little bit more space, you know, especially if you're uh, tight in the hips and your knees may be up here, it might be better to have a block or something like that. Um, otherwise, once you find that comfortable position, you can put grounding your sits bones into the earth so that you're not sinking or rotating into your hips. Really rotate them back, extend long and tall through your spine out through the crown of your head, and we'll start by using our Mula Bandha breath. That is going to help us activate our deep core line muscles. So you're going to inhale, think about filling the space between your legs and all around you with your inhale, and then you exhale, you're going to exhale out your nose. Almost like you're trying to fog up like a window or a mirror, like we go like that, but you're doing it with your mouth closed and exhaling through your nose. So inhale, exhale. Your exhale is traveling all the way up your spine, starting to activate all of those deep core line muscles. From here, we're gonna start adding some movement to that. So inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands are gonna to come to heart center, namaste, and you're gonna to twist to the right. So as we do this twist, we're thinking about using our spine to make the move. That's again how we're gonna activate and open up our core, not by moving from our outside body, but from our inside. Inhale up, exhale, this time twist to the left. Inhale up, twist to the right. And as you're doing this, Really think about maintaining that length through the spine and through the crown of your head. Good, last time. This time holding the twist to the left. If you want from here, depending on how uh, kind of flexible you're feeling, we're not very warmed up, so don't, definitely don't take this too far. You can just place your fingertips um, kind of towards the earth, you can rest your forearm on the inside of your foot and just take that twist just a little bit deeper, starting to lean forward more and stretching out the hips. If you're feeling really flexy and warmed up, you can even take um, elbow or upper arm into the foot and you can even take, if you're feeling really flexible, the namaste position, but with that added twist. Hold whatever position you're in for a couple of breaths, still using that Mula Bandha breath, even while we're moving and twisting. And wherever you are, walk yourself back up to center. Reach your fingertips out long. Extend right arm overhead. Really think about grounding into the earth with your right hip. You don't want to be lifting up off of the ground. And you can extend your left arm out as far as you would like or even bend your elbow. Again, finding that first edge of stretch. We're not really warm, so finding that edge of stretch wherever you are today. And as you practice more and more, your edge of stretch will take you further and further, but you don't want to go too far too fast. So really be conscious of where you're at in the spectrum right now. And back up to center one last move here take your right foot place it on the outside
outside of your right leg and tuck your left foot underneath you. So now we're in a uh, seated twist here, really grounding your sits bones into the earth, sitting up tall. If you want, you can just hug your front knee into your chest, starting to get a little bit deeper stretch here, or you can take a spinal twist. When you do that, you still want the twist to come from your spine and your obliques. We're not gonna use our arm to do the twist, but once you've made your twist, found where that position is, then you can go back to hugging the leg in for a little bit deeper stretch in the leg. Again, a couple of deep mula bandha breaths here. And then gently release that and we'll come to the other side. You can take a moment though to windshield wipe your legs and notice the difference we've made already with just a few warm up moves. All right, this time right leg underneath, left leg on top again, finding that comfortable ankle to knee position. So ankles and knees stacked. If you need block, pillow, blanket, anything here, again, especially if your hips are really tight and your knees may be really close to you, it can always help to kind of bring the floor up and that way you can rest your leg on it. Um, and again, let gravity start doing that work. We're kind of gonna let gravity do the stretching for us while we focus on our breath and twisting and using our, and activating our spine. So starting here, grounding into the earth with your sits bones, sitting up tall through your spine, crown of the head reaches towards the sky, activating our mula bandha breath again. We sometimes can kind of forget that we're, that we're supposed to be doing that when we're moving. So inhale, feel that 360 breath, inhaling in all directions and exhale through your nose. Inhale here, exhale, inhale. Remember, think about fogging up a mirror. This is our Ujjayi victorious breath. So great to use our victorious breath when we're trying to activate and cultivate our deep core strength. Starting to add that movement now. This time, inhale, exhale, hands come to heart center and then twist to the left. Inhale, lift up. Remember to keep this twisting movement. Think about moving your skeleton first. And using that inner movement is gonna activate all of our core muscles from the inside out. Last one here, holding it to the right this time. So you can stay here holding this twist. If that is where your edge of stretch is, that's awesome, keep practicing this. You can always start to lean just a little bit forward, starting to deepen that stretch in the hips a little bit and rest your fingertips on the earth. Again, you can rest your forearm to your foot, or if you're ready to take it a little bit deeper, you can start walking down maybe to elbow length, maybe upper arm rests on the inside of your foot. And if you're ready for the super stretchy challenge, coming into that twist. So really opening your heart up to the side this is a very deep twist and deep stretch, so uh, something to work towards. Obviously, you don't have to start here. Whatever position you're in, holding it for a couple more breaths. And then from here, walking yourself back up to center, we'll do that side stretch again. So right fingertips reach to the right. Left arm extends overhead, remembering to ground your left hip into the earth. So we're really getting a stretch along our side body and side core, obliques, intercostals, all of those muscles. And again, you can walk your fingertips out as far as you like. Maybe here is best for you today. You can bend your right elbow or not. Finding that edge of stretch this is all about finding where you want to stretch today, what's going to be best for you and your body. Come back to center. Now for our seated spinal twist. So right foot comes to the outside of your left leg. Left foot tucks under. Again, grounding into the earth with your sits bones. Sitting up tall, extending through the crown of your head. 
left, uh, right knee, excuse me. You can just pull that into your chest and stay here if that feels good for you. Or twist using your core and then hook your right elbow onto your leg and then you can complete the twist by looking over your left shoulder if that feels good. You can look forward, basically wherever feels good for you today. One last breath here. Gently release that forward. Then you can windshield wipe your legs. Kind of sink that energy that we've just created. And then from here, we're going to come into a forward fold stance. So firmly plant your feet into the earth. Kind of make your way there however you need to. Think about grounding your feet into the earth. We're going to start with really bent knees first. We want to activate our deep core as we roll up to our stand and forward fold. So grounding into the earth, really lifting up through the arches of your feet, lifting up through behind your shin, through your inner thighs, rolling in and up front of your low spine, lifts forward as you extend tall through the crown of your head, and exhale. Inhale, hands come to heart center. So when we do that roll up, we're activating our whole deep core line, getting all of our deep core muscles, really opening up that energy. So we'll inhale here and exhale deep, bend in your knees as you fold forward. And from here, you can just find your first edge of stretch and you can shift your feet and kind of pick them up and put them down to find a comfortable position for your feet and your knees. And start with slightly bent knees, wave your spine long, and then come to that fold. And then from here, really deep bend in the knees this time. Think about grounding into the earth with your feet, lifting up through your arches, all the way up through your inner thighs. Lifting in and up through your core. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Very nice, we'll do that one more time. Exhale, bent knees, forward fold. Finding that edge of stretch. Waving your spine long. And this time when we roll up, we're gonna roll up into chair. So bending your knees really deeply, really lifting up from the earth. Rolling in and up, sits bones are seated way back like you're actually trying to sit in a chair. And settle into that chair pose. You don't want your knees going over your toes. You really want to be sitting back into your hips. A lot of the weight's on your heels when we're doing this. Still extending long through the crown of your head. And Inhale, forward fold this time. Noticing if your legs are opening anymore as you keep going into this stretch. We'll take it a little deeper this time. So bending into the earth, this time really grounding into the earth with your left foot. As you roll up and lift up with all of your deep core muscles, lift your right leg to your chest and then place your seat, you lose your balance, that's okay. Uh, place your right ankle over your left knee, not on your knee, just above it, and then sit back again into that chair, really sitting back into your heel, deep into your sits bones. Seeing if you can just hold this balancing position, really getting deep into the hips and challenging our core strength and balance. Last breath here, you're gonna inhale, lift the knee back into your chest and exhale, back to that forward fold. This time as you bend your knees, really ground into the earth with your right foot, lifting in and up, coming up through kind of a karate kid asana, you know, your wah, thing like that. <laughs> and then left ankle over the right knee, Sitting back into your hips, back into your heel.
challenging your core strength and balance while stretching out our hips. It's awesome. It's multitasking. Creating that space. Remembering to use our Mula Bunda breath. As you come out of the pose, exhale back to your forward fold. And you can kind of pick up your feet and find a comfortable position. If it went anywhere, start with slight bend in your knees. Wave the spine long. And then extend your legs to that first edge of stretch. And then from here, you can kind of pedal out your knees, one foot and then the other. And from here, uh, bend your right knee. Left leg is straighter for you. Plant your left palm. You can be on your fingertips too if that's easier. And left arm is going to extend to the sky. Getting a deep stretch in our left hip. From here you can even rotate your palm behind you and wrap your hand around your back. Remember to use the Mula Bandha breath here. One more inhale and exhale, and then release, coming back to your forward fold. Noticing the difference, or if you're feeling a difference on each side. And then bend your left knee deeper, plant your left hand. Right leg comes straighter for you as you extend the right arm to the sky. You can even wrap your arm or your hand around your back if that feels good. Last breath here, gently releasing that. Come back to your forward fold. You may notice as we keep doing that, that your that first edge of stretch can move and you can stretch a little bit deeper. Then from here, bending your knees really deeply. Inhale, prepare and exhale. Rolls you up through all your deep core muscles. Inhale, lift up. Exhale. Very nice. Now we're going to end this practice a little bit differently. We're going to come into a, a wide knee child's pose. So knees are going to be really wide. You're going to sit back onto your heels, coming into your child's pose. Arms reach forward. And of course, if this is too low for you, I'm going to scoot back so you can see. You can be up here. Maybe this is where you need to sit. Maybe you need to sit up here. Uh, whatever is going to be most comfortable. And if the wide knee is too much for you, you can bring your knees closer together. You know, this is your practice. You got to do what you got to do to make it work for you. So you can have a close knee wild's pose or child's pose if that feels better for you. Better on your hips and your back. Whatever child's pose position you're in, you can stay there or you can take this final challenge if you would like coming into a twist. So from here, left arm extends, you're gonna come to a twist, left arm extends onto the floor, um, to the right side, you're resting on your shoulder. You can have your right arm just resting on top. And make sure when you're doing this that you're not like sinking you know, into your hips, you wanna be still sitting back, centered on your hips, Pressing your shoulder into the earth so you're creating some space. And from here, you can, if you want, in a little added twist, reach your palm up and wrap it around it. And stretch out your shoulder a bit more. And try that on the other side. From here, we're really getting deep into our hips, really opening up that area. And all of that twisting is helping to open up all of our core and stretching out, you know, the core muscles that we did work in that light strengthening. Again, you can have your left hand resting on top of your right as you do this twist, or palm can reach up and wrap around you. Remembering that mula bandha breath. 
I know I keep reminding you, but it's such a great way to activate your deep core. And whenever you're ready, come back to center. Really sink into your hips, sink into the pose. And you can take a few more moments to rest there. Or again, if you want to come to a closer knee child's pose, you can even bring your arms behind you and really just let your shoulders start to open. Release tension in your low back. And from here, you can take a few more minutes resting in your child's pose. If you want, you can uh, hop on your back and take a couple of minutes in your final resting pose, your Shavasana pose, and then take all of that core and hip opening and energy that we just built, take that in uh, to the rest of the day with you, whatever you have going on. Definitely look forward to seeing you on the mat again. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Make sure you are uh, subscribed to the YouTube channel, that way you get notifications when we've got new videos for you and have exclusive content for you on the League of Nerd Yogi's email list, so make sure you're signed up there as well. Namaste.